Hey everybody, welcome back. It's Syndigrator, and look at this battery clip. Isn't that nice? Pretty good, actually. Um, I am finally happy. Uh, earlier on, I did a parts uh, video, and I, of course, explained, Oh, look at this great battery clip I bought. And, of course, it turned out to be wrong. Not the right battery clip. But this battery clip is actually pretty good for Juno 106s. Uh, as you can see, it's soldered in nicely. And, um, you know, we got the positive side over here and the negative side over here, or I should say the ground. And uh, so this is how it works. The top of the battery is of course positive, so this is the battery clip. And here they are. I bought a selection of them. They were not that expensive. And here, da 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 da, -da the part number. Ladies and gentlemen, yeah, disintegrators everywhere. Anyone who wants to rebuild one of these guys, uh, this is your part number. And uh, that's a DigiKey part number, and uh, as you can see, it's uh, BH32T-C-G-ND, and that is with gold pins. Um, I did get another part in, which was very, very close, uh, and I ended up buying uh, quite a few of them, actually, with these ones over here, which are comparable. Um, but I don't recommend them uh, for the Juno 106 anyway. Um, this one here is the BS7ND. And the reason I don't recommend it is because uh, the actual clip, you can't really see it inside the bag, and I'm using one hand because the other hand is handling the video camera, but here we go, look. See that? That is wide. That's a wide lug there. It's, I don't really quite understand why it's a nice narrow pin on one side and a wide lug on the other. And uh, I tried uh, desoldering it, and uh, it wasn't actually a pin. It was a wide lug underneath. So uh, it's just the way that this particular part is. It doesn't agree with the narrow. This wants a clip that has pins on both sides. And uh, anyway, that's what this, this guy is. See? Pins on both sides. No uh, wide lug. So uh, that just fits right in the hole, and uh, we're good to go. And uh, just another point here. Uh, if you do a lot of this stuff, if you use a lot of coin cells uh, in your synthesizers or maybe even at home, uh, I'm going to give you a tip. Um, this is uh, P189-ND. These are lithium coin, lithium coin cells, 3 volts, just like you would get. And Maybe they're not alkaline, I suppose that's probably what it is. They're not alkaline, I believe, but they're just straight lithium coin cell. And I bought literally 20 of them um, for a I don't know. They, oh, I'm sorry. Hello. Can you please autofocus? All right. There we are. Um, I bought literally 20 of them uh, for probably under 20 bucks. I don't remember the exact number, but I can tell you they were really cheap compared to if you go to the store and buy them in a drugstore, you're getting two of them for 10 bucks. Uh, they're probably alkaline ones, long life, blah, 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 medical device certification, whatever they call it. But it's a waste to put one of those expensive ones inside a synth that's just going to be holding memory. So here you go. Uh, that's the part number you can use to get cheap, affordable batteries uh, for your synth work. So we're all good to go here with this board. I'm going to move on. Uh, there's uh, voice chips to pin, and uh, there are also a, uh, there's also a circuit board to pin, and there are other circuit boards to depopulate. So I'm busy today.